In round six, uh, Albrecht Nigata returned to winning ways in spectacular fashion against a court young Lions who are really beginning to struggle. Shinpei Sakurada with a superb goal in the 13th minute got things underway. Not to be outdone, Tatsuro Inui in the 55th with an equally fine finish. Well, that meant the floodgates opened and just three minutes later, Norihiro Kawakami with this simple header off a corner. Shuhei Hota got in on the act, almost an identical goal from the other side in the 67th. It was all too easy at that point for Alberex. Three minutes after that, in the 70th, Yosuke Saito with a wonderful finish to this goal. And that completed the route at 5-0, and you could see what it meant to the players after a harrowing few weeks. Well, Home United possessed two of the league's hotter strikers, and it showed in this match against Woodlands Wellington. First, Chu Lee, who scored off a fantastic free kick in the 24th minute. And then Frederick Mendy, who had the simplest of tap-ins. This was in the 57th minute. And that means both strikers have now got four goals each. 2-0, the final score. Over to round seven now, and only one goal separated the two sides, Gombak United and Singapore Armed Forces. Fazrul Nawaz in the 12th minute against his former club. 1-0 to Singapore Armed Forces. Over to Haugang Stadium, where two struggling teams were in action. Haugang took an early lead through Duncan Elias in the fifth minute. Carlos Delgado doubled their tally in the 47th minute, and at that point, Haugang looked very comfortable indeed. But Ballastier have shown some real battling qualities this season, and Kim Yong Kwan pulled a goal back in the 77th minute. The Korea needed just six more minutes to score his and Ballastier's second. To all the final score, Ballastier continued their reputation as draw specialists. Well, after that fine win over Court Young Lions, Alvarex were keen to build some momentum against Geelong United FC, who are on a poor run at the moment. But it took them till the 45th minute to open the scoring through Norihiro Kawakami. And Geelong unexpectedly hit back through Hafiz Rahim in the 74th minute. Musashi Okuyama regained the lead for Alvarex in the 83rd minute. But the Japanese side weren't done just yet. Tatsuro Inui scoring in injury time. Check out the goalkeeper's placing on this one. That was his second goal in as many games. Alborex winning 3-1. And finally, spare a thought for cellar dwellers Woodlands Wellington, who were up against defending champions Etoile FC. It was a tight match until the 62nd minute when Nigel Vanu scored Woodlands' first goal of the season after six games. But the in for Maxime Belloué equalised in the 86th minute. And there was heartbreak for Woodlands right at the death. After some desperate defending, couldn't stop Kabi Salim from getting a last gasp winner. Cue pandemonium in the stadium. So Woodlands at the bottom after Tanjong Paga got only their second point of the season in a draw versus Court Young Lions. But it's even tighter at the top with just one point separating the top three.